town has launched a trial program that reduces air conditioning use at chain restaurants and hotels. Starting Monday, the AC must be set at no lower than 23 degrees during mealtimes. The trial will affect more than 1,300 businesses around Taiwan with a full rollout slated for 2025. Some businesses fear the new rule could drive diners away. But other businesses say the policy is in line with their current temperature controls. The cook braves high temperatures as he prepares a meal on the griddle. The economics ministry has launched the trial program to cut down on electricity consumption. Starting Monday, restaurants and hotels are banned from setting their air conditioning below 23 degrees at mealtimes. The policy will officially take effect in 2025. Most of the time, we set it to 23 or 24 degrees, but if it gets very hot, we might lower it to about 20 degrees. If it's not comfortable inside, customers won't want to come. When they are cooking things, of course it gets hotter. And if there are a lot of people, it gets quite stuffy. Summers are only getting warmer, and diners say they'd rather not sweat over their lunch. Temperature control is crucial at hot pot restaurants, where rising steam and big crowds can result in a stuffy environment. But one restaurant group says it's already regulating AC use to save energy. All the restaurants across all the brands in our group keep their indoor temperatures between 23 and 24 degrees. The policy won't have much of an impact on us. We already have temperature control measures in place. Besides, we offer all-you-can-eat frozen treats, so I think diners won't be affected much. Since 2014, 20 types of businesses have been banned from setting air conditioning systems to temperatures below 26 degrees, with the exception of mealtimes. Now, the economics ministry has launched a trial to regulate mealtime temperatures, starting with chain restaurants and hotels. The ministry hopes more businesses will join the initiative voluntarily to cut carbon emissions and save on electricity bills.